Today is Tuesday, May 21st, and I'm just wondering, are these Dallas Mavericks serious championship contenders? And now, a word from our title sponsor. Are all financial advisors fiduciaries? Fewer than you think, not knowing could reduce your lifestyle. Hi, I'm Mitch Kramer, founder and CEO of Fluent Financial. A fiduciary is a regulatory term to reduce conflicts of interest in wealth management. A fiduciary always works in your best interest. A non-fiduciary advisor might put their compensation or company ahead of yours. At Blunt Financial, we are certified financial planners acting as fiduciary advisors. To learn more, go to FluentFinancial.com or Fluent Financial's YouTube channel. There's been a significant development in your laundry room, laundry detergent sheets, not dryer sheets, but the same concept. Paper thin, remarkably efficient. Just toss one into your load of clothes and voila, sparkling clean and smelling great. And as a plus, they're hypoallergenic for those with sensitive skin. Jugs of detergent, jugs that just wind up in trash heaps. It's easy to get your laundry detergent sheets. Just go to the link in today's podcast episode. Introducing Star Power Smart Home Solutions, where cutting edge technology meets effortless living. Control your entire home with just a tap on your smartphone. Adjust the lights, set the perfect temperature, and ensure your home is secure, all from the palm of your hand. Star Power has the experts that will transform your house into a secure smart home. Experience the ultimate solution in comfort and security for your family. Get started at GetStarPower.com. Star Power, where innovation meets home. Well, first, Anytime you reach the final four of your sport, yes, you are serious contenders. Just ask the Dallas Cowboys. Oh, oh wait, they, they haven't reached the final four in 28 years. Uh, back to the Mavericks. Yes, yes, this team is a serious contender. But how did this happen? They were just wandering around past the midpoint of this season. How'd they get here? That's the question. Well, they had two stars all season long, Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving. And Luka's just a great player. And Irving, for the first time in his career, seems happy to be playing Tonto next to Luka Doncic's Lone Ranger. But what changed about the team? The, the quality of players around them. See, most of the first half of this season, <laughs> in fact, most of Luka's career here, he's got to be spectacular to be a championship team. Because the quality of the players around him lacked. They added Irving, but even there, you just can't, can't have two star players, one superstar, one star, and then a whole bunch of guys named Herb. <clears throat> the, the narrative was, in the first half of the season, as Luca and Kyrie go, so go the Mavs. But the general manager, Nico Harrison, and the coach, Jason Kidd, understood this. They understood there was going to have to be some change to this team if it would go someplace in the playoffs. Don't forget that as this season reached the three-quarters point, the Mavericks were struggling with the possibility of being in the play-in game of the playoffs. Something new. Don't want to do. But they got aggressive at the trade deadline. They traded assets, including a 2027 number one pick, to acquire Daniel Gafford, the center from Washington, and P.J. Washington, the forward from Carolina. Their aim, they wanted to defend better, they wanted to have more size, and they wanted to rebound better. Those two arrived. And it didn't work, at, at least not immediately. <clears throat> that, I, 
wouldn't call a tailspin, but I would say the Mavericks encountered a tailspin as you passed the three-quarter point of the season, having lost five of six games. Kidd and his staff continued to tinker with lineups and tinker with lineups. And finally, on February 7th, circle that date, Maverick fans, on February 7th, this team started to arrive at its promise. They beat Eastern contender Miami at home. And that started a 16-2 and run. At that point, the last two games of the regular season, the Mavericks rested the players to get ready for the playoffs. And now, counting the two playoff series, the Clippers and Oklahoma City, that Maverick lineup is 24 and 6. Let me tell you something 24 and 6 is a serious contender. And it's no longer a two-man show. It's not just, well, Kyrie and Luca have to be out of their minds to win a basketball game against the key contender. Game five of Oklahoma City. The series is tied at two games each. Kyrie Irving takes 23 shots to score 22 points. That's horrible efficiency. The Mavericks in those situations usually just couldn't hold up. But on that night, they weren't dead. Gafford, the starting center, and Derek Lively now made a backup once Gafford got there, combined for 22 points, 22 rebounds, and two blocks. Derek Jones who'd been a starter early in the year, then because he couldn't make three-pointers, slowly shuffled out of the lineup and down the bench, was put back in the lineup by Coach Kidd and his assistants. And on that fifth game night, Derek Jones and P.J. Washington, that new forward combination, they combined for 29 points and they out-rebound Oklahoma City 47-31. to <clears throat> Game six, the clincher. This night, Luka would score only 21, and Irving would score only 12. Dead meat, usually, for the Mavericks. Not so on this night. <clears throat> Gafford and Lively combine for 20 points and 19 rebounds. Jones and Washington chip in another 29. And the Mavericks are on to the conference finals. Can the Mavericks win their way into the finals? Well, you can make this case. The Clippers were too old and too slow. And Oklahoma City is too young, (laughs) way too young to have the kind of good season they had. And They really did lack some some size, some meat in there. But you cannot say those things about this Minnesota team that the Mavs will meet in the conference finals. By the way, Minnesota appearing in the conference finals for only the second time in their team's history and the first time since 2004 when they were led by Kevin Garnett. This team is rugged inside with Rudy Gobert and Carl Anthony Towns. They have real size with those two and Naz Reed. And Anthony Edwards is a superstar, a superstar who also plays defense. The Mavs are the first number five or lower seed to reach the Western Conference Finals in 11 years since Memphis did it in 2013. Can the Mavs win? Hey, this team is on a 24-6 and six roll. They, they've been wonderful lately. And wouldn't it be fantastic if they could make it to the finals and in the finals meet 
well, let's say the number six seed from the East, Indiana, to upset Boston, and we'd have a match between these Mavericks who have fished their season out of mediocrity against former coach Rick Carlisle's Pacers. Today's episode brought to you by Fluent Financial, Retire Sooner, Better Lifestyle, and by Star Power, Love Where You Live. Just Wondering is a production of DSP Media for FanStream Sports. You can find Norm's show along with other great programming at fanstreamsports.com. Thank you for listening to today's episode. If you enjoyed it, hit follow. And every weekday, a fresh new episode of Just Wondering will be delivered right to you. And if you enjoy this podcast, please share it with a friend. Finally, should you have questions or comments, please share them with us by going to X and our address at Norm's Clubhouse. That's Just Wondering with Norm Hitzkus. And every day, I'll be just wondering about something. And I'm Mary Hitchkiss, and I'm just wondering too.